Hi, I'm Paul Rivera with the Audi Club, and I'm here at Ingolstadt West in Canoga Park, California. I'm here with Ian Hansen and Christian Flores of Ingolstadt West. Between the two of these gentlemen, they have over 40 years of experience working on Audis. They're both Audi master technicians. And today, we're going to flash my ECU in my 2006 Audi A4 Avant 2 liter. And uh, they're going to tell us all about how the process is and what we're going to get out of it. Ian, how do you do? meet you can you please uh, tell me what we're going to gain with this uh, oh uh, upgrade to our ECU we're going to gain about uh, 30 horsepower and about an additional 48 foot-pounds of torque approximately you get a smoother acceleration some nice low-end torque and uh, some great high-end torque also oh super super that's great and Christian have you had a lot of experience of seeing the results of this uh, uh, ECU upgrade on two liters that's what a non two liter, but that's what I got in almost a 1.8 and a two liter was almost daily. And uh, we got a lot of reserve in a 2.7 and the ECU and the APR. So far, it's one of the number one for us. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you very much. We're, I'm going to hand them my keys to uh, these gentlemen and trust my car to them. Here you go, guys. I'm going to plug in this diagnostic interface into the diagnostic socket underneath the steering wheel. It's the same socket you would use to scan for any faults in the engine or any other component on the car. Uh, what I do is I plug this in, switch on the ignition, then I'll go to my desktop computer. I will log on to uh, APR's service through a VPN and then I will start the process, select the ECM and the programs we want to flash and then it will flash. It takes about 20 minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch off any electrical consumers because this is going to be running with uh, with the engine off and just the battery on just for about 20 minutes so if I leave on any consumers it could drain the battery and then it could crash halfway through. So I'll switch off the AC and switch off the radio. Okay, we're ready to go. Okay, and burn ECU. What's going to happen now is because uh, you've already had this car previously burned before, even though you have a new ECM in there, it's going to pull the information and all the old existing programs from before and uh, we're going to put it back on the car again. Right now it's uh, connected to the car and it's going to be reading the ECM number and once it reads the ECM number it's going to send the VIN number which is stored inside the ECM to APR, they're going to match it with their records and then it's going to see if you're an existing customer or not. So right now uh, the computer's picked up that this is a previous customer and it's pulled all the previous programs plus the security code. So now I'm going to go to the next step. I'm going to put all these programs across here that he already has. Stock first, 19, 3 Octane, 1 Octane. Okay, security. Put some notes in there for myself and for APR that we're we'll reflashing this one. But I do that, they're going to charge me again. So. And it's burning the ECU now? Yeah, as soon as that starts to move, it's going to start burning the ECU. It's going to go from 0 to 100. It takes about 20 minutes. So the flash is finished now and it gives me a confirmation. There's an ECU burn report there. It has the name of us, Ingolstadt West, the customer's name, and it also has all the programs in order. Stock to 100, that's the security value, and also the security pin there. And right now I'm printing it out so I can give that to the customer. Okay, the flash is finished now, so I'm gonna unplug the diagnostic cable. I'm gonna cycle the ignition. If you notice right now, there's the, the check engine light is not there. There's no check engine light. Should, there should normally be a check engine light. That means the ECM is offline right now. If I try and start the car, it will not start. So what I need to do is recycle the ignition here. Turn it back on. Now you see the check engine light is on, which means it's communicating with the ECM. So next what I want to do is, if you have a security code, what you have to do is you have to unlock it. It's automatically locked when you reflash a car with a security code. To do that, you have to make sure the cruise control is set on, okay? 
and then you put the code in by moving you first of all you go down to confirm then you move up the amount of digits for the first digit in this case it's two so you go one two then you go down to confirm then you put the rest of the digits in now you see the lights are flashing alternatively there that basically means now the, the correct security code was entered and now it's unlocked so now what I can do is I can hold the set button down and I can select the program what happens is when I hold it down there it's gonna flash one time a second then it'll go two times and so forth till it goes to four times a second that's gonna represent the programs the first program is stock mode then 91 then 93 then 100 so one flash if I let go of it when it's flashing once it's gonna go into stock mode if I let go of it when it's flashing two times it's gonna go into 91 mode and so forth so I'm gonna hold down the set button and Watch the check engine right there. So it's flashing one time a second. I'm gonna wait for two times a second. So it's two times a second. I'm gonna let go of it now while it was flashing two times a second. And now it's gonna go into the second program, which is 91 octane mode. And then what I need to do then is turn the car off, turn it back on. See the lights are flashing there. I can't start the car while that's happening or the car will not start. I have to wait till they stop flashing. Now they stop flashing, so the car will stop. There you have it. That was it? That's it. So what you saw was a flash programming of my ECU and my Audi A4 by APR. And tell us how much horsepower we're going to gain for this. Going to gain 32 horsepower and nearly 50 pounds of foot torque on 91 octane mode. If you go to 93 or 100, you're going to gain a lot more. Oh, that's terrific. I can't hardly wait to uh, drive the car with the extra power. So, Ian, I really appreciate it. Thank you very you're much. You're welcome. Anytime. And, Christian, thank you very much. Thank you very much to you guys.